Welcome to Mimernik Artist Guild. This is the oldest cooperative artist association in Westchester County. We have over 250 members and this is three solo shows together. Uh, the titles are A Week in Tuscany and A Figurative Sojourn. The sculpture that you're going to see is work that I've done over several years. Two pieces that were in the window, one is called Hide and Seek. Originally it was carved in limestone and then I had a mold made of it and it was cast in bronze. The other piece that's in the window is called Chrysalis. That originally was carved in white alabaster and a mold was made of it and it was cast in bronze. And it's a small child trying to push itself out of a stone like it's trying to birth itself. The piece that was on my invitation, which is called Positivo Negativo, also was carved in marble. The mold was made over it and I've had two uh, marble dust and resin castings made. One is white and the other one is a black resin casting. Another piece that is in the show is called The Grotto and there are two figures, one on either side, and it sort of creates this mystery as to whether one figure is going into the stone and another figure is also going into the stone. So it creates this mystery in the viewer's mind to kind of figure out what the story is. Another piece is called La Bodanza, meaning abundance in Italian. It's white Carrara marble. It was influenced by Weston's photography of green peppers that sort of look like male backs. Uh, another influence was Palabolus Dance Company, and they had this book called Body Knots. There's another version of this piece. It was cast in bronze, and it has a green patina on it. Uh, this is a way of making copies of pieces. So a mold was made over the marble piece, and then wax was poured into the mold and in a foundry it was cast into bronze. It's another piece called Layla, of a female figure sort of reclining and sunning over rocks. One of the pieces here in the front, which is called Elephant Mountain, was inspired by what the Taliban did to a thousand-year-old Buddhas in a mountain in Afghanistan. They blew them out of the mountain. And this piece is sort of a tribute to that. It's an elephant mountain. It was carved in black walnut wood. The tusks are made out of ceramic. There's a real elephant bell that's inside of the cave. And the backside there is a relief carved of what a mountainside would look like. A few other pieces. There's um, Reverie, it's a standing nude. Another piece is a reclining nude. She's sitting on her throne and leaning back in a leisurely pose. Another piece that's in the corner is a, a male torso. I'm particularly partial to partial figures. I like the idea that you know, you're seeing only part of a figure and the viewer will add on the rest of the, the details. Another piece is a full standing male nude and it's twisting, it's turning. And it's a figure that was done in fired clay and has a very interesting patina on it. Then there are smaller pieces in a glass case I also do small commemorative medals. Most of them are no larger than six inches and they deal with various universal themes from tension between two friends to aging to one is called a personal prison where you know a woman is looking out of a window and has her hand up and you know feels that she's encaged and you know other pieces commemorate pastoral counseling it was an award another one was about 9 11 and another piece is about various kinds of mail that you receive from email to snail mail and then there are two small ceramic partial figures also shown